<laughs> Evening, Bernard. Sorry I'm late. You're early. No, no, I'm ten minutes late. For you, that's early. <laughs> I'm Purvis. Get your hair cut. Oh, no, look at the state of this. Look at it. I put conditioner on this tonight. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm doing my bingo. You've no chance with that, Bernard. You've no chance. Huh? You won't be saying that when I'm all up on some beach in Fawengarola, will you? <laughs> Fawengarola? Waste of time. I'm telling you, there's a... <laughs> that is not a regulation tie. I know that. Do you like it? I couldn't find the one for my outfit, so I had to put this on. You've got to be more organised. I suppose we should be grateful you almost got here on time tonight. I know that. Thanks to that motorbike you sold me. Yeah, told you, didn't I? Good little runner. I couldn't get it started, so I came on the bus. <laughs> Nevertheless, you've now got wheels, and that will impress the girls. I inside had wheels. <laughs> I didn't tell Ben what's in it. No, I know that. But if you were a little bit more careful with your money, you could have a nice little car by now. It's all right for you, Bernard. There's you, Burrell, and the boy out working. All I've got is me, me, and me. Purvis, you've got to have a budget. Every penny we earn has a home. Every penny I earn has a home. Yes, but unfortunately, all yours is in the till at the bunch of grapes. No, no. No, no, I've got to have my social life, me. I mean, I'm in my prime. You can't expect a person like me to become a hermit. I'm not like you, you know, Bernard, stuck at home, washing up, hoovering the toilet, falling asleep in front of Wogan. I do not hoover the toilet. Well, whatever you... Oh. <laughs> what am you wearing? Had an accident with my shoes. <laughs> The cat peed in them, they went all white. <laughs> what about your others? What others? Huh? Oh, so you've only one pair. So much for your budget. Oh, yeah, you can say that, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I live life to the full, me, Bernard. Uh, life to the... <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'll tell you this. I'm not going to be stuck here. Oh, no, no, no. I've got big plans, me, you know. Up there. I'm going up there, me. Where? On the roof. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't know this. I could be the next Richard Branson. You look more like Zola Bud. <laughs> uh, what the hell's this? Don't tell me. I've seen one of these before. There's no mark on it, but I would put it around, around the 1980s. <laughs> oh, it's a little beauty, this. A little beauty. Have you got any more at home like this? Give it here. It's a moulded, of course. Before they had the moulder machine, every one of those had to be handcrafted. Rows and rows of Valerie Singleton sticking them together with sticky back plastic. You idiot! This is the expensive kind! I know that. Nanette Newman can wash 400 Boy Scouts with that. Did that, did that, did that. Hey, have you gone flaming mad? How much did this lot cost? You'll be £4.99, Bernie. Well, I haven't got £4.99. Haven't you? No. I have. You mustn't be budgeting properly. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Very good. And without the aid of anaesthetic. <laughs> Come on. Are you sure it was £4.99? Um, would you like me to leave the room while you two say goodbye? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, your penny. I forgot. Hang on. Here, put that in your sparring. <laughs> hey. Them damn kids, they're on the wall again. They're all right. Hey, it's the same four, I recognise them. Why do you leave them alone, they're doing no harm? That's not the point, is it? Sitting on that wall every night, they're going to wear the damn thing out. <laughs> the kids. 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 Don't talk to me about kids. I was calling, you know, I used to be a smashing little kid. Oh, what happened? Uh, he grew up, didn't he? <laughs> Shaved his head. He's now got a girlfriend who dresses like Max Wall. He's got money in his pocket. Still says there's nowhere to go and nothing to do. That's what I'm saying about them kids. There's nowhere for them to go and nothing to do. Oh, I see. So that gives them the right to sit on other people's walls, does it? I know what's going to happen if they're not removed. What? They'll have their own acid house disco down there. <laughs> and I'll be sniffing Dr. Martins. <laughs> Bernard! Bernard! What are you talking about? Look! The kids sat on a wall. It's a gang. I've seen it all before, out in Malaya. Oh, here we go. There'll be hundreds of them, hundreds of them, endangering the very fabric of our society. They sat on a wall. It's time they were doing something more constructive. What, like building their own wall? <laughs> a couple of years in the army, that'll sort them out. The kids. Mm, we went in the forces, didn't we? 
Didn't do us any harm. Went in boys. Came out men. Trevor Bayliss didn't. He went in for two years now, look at him. He's modelling corsets for Empire Stores. <laughs> he had too many hormones. Hey, up the moving. Follow them. I'm not going out there. On the camera. They've stopped. What are they doing now? Hello, they've just spotted the camera. Here we go, new faces. Very funny, that. Very funny. Whoa! Hey! That big one's dropping his pants. No! They are that. He wouldn't get it. They just did. That's it. I'll tell you what, that little one's got some pimples, ain't he? It looks like a pizza cut down the middle. Hey, did you record that? No. That was evidence, that was. What's the point in having a video if you don't switch it on? I watched my films on that. Did you recognise any other faces? Well, they weren't really showing the faces, were they? <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I'll have them, I'll oh, have them. Shh, shh, burn it, burn it. Stop whinging and just go and make some tea. <laughs> and for your information, I do not whinge. Yes, you do. You're always whinging. If you had your mastermind, your specialist subject will be great whinges of the Western world. 1935 to 1938. Have you seen that video I was watching last night, Bernard? No, I haven't. Well, I can't find it. Well, look for it. I've been looking, but I can't find it. It's the one that your sister recorded. It weren't there when I looked for it. Have you seen my mug? Oh, what? I had a slight accident with it, Sergeant, when I was washing up. It fell through my marigolds. Do you know, I was Dorian and Ken brought me that mug back from Yugoslavia two years ago. That was a very good mug, that was. Oh, it was very good, I'll testify to that. It bounced twice before it smashed. <laughs> what am I supposed to have my brew in now? Borrow mine, use mine, I'm not bothered. Well, what are you going to use? There's an old one under the sink, I'll use that. Mm. And it's time you had some more respect for other people's property. And I'll tell you something else, Purvis, right? I want an exact replacement by this time tomorrow night. Yes, sir! <laughs> as soon as I finish work, I'll nip over to Santa Java and pick you one up, all right? <laughs> you can get them in black too, on Golden Mile. <laughs> Is this, uh, the mug you're thinking of using, then? Yeah. Yeah? But with what's in the bottom of there, you could knit yourself a jumper. <laughs> Ooh! I'm not drinking out of that, I could catch penicillin. <laughs> Good, is it? It's great. What's it about? I can't explain now, Bernard, it's near the end. What's happening? That fella on the motorbike, they reckon he's a Russian spy. Who's she? That's his girlfriend. She's convinced he's a spy. Is he? Well, how the bloody hell do I know, Bernard? That's what I'm watching it for. Who's she talking to now? That's Leo G. Carroll. He's working for the Americans. But I reckon he's really the spy. The fellow on the motorbike, he's got to get to the border. He's got to warn Michael Horden. Huh? Where's Michael Horden then? I don't know. He hasn't been in it much. <laughs> Who's that? I've never seen him before, so he's not important. Well, he looks important. Well, he's not important. <laughs> this is the important fella, Dickie Attenborough. <laughs> he knows who the real spy is, because he saw him pass the briefcase in Vienna. Right, now we'll find out who the spy is. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Somebody's recorded over the end of it. <laughs> I don't want to watch Emmerdale Farm. I want to watch me movie. I don't even know the Romans. Oh, I'm in limbo here. Stay calm. So only a film? A film? Only a film. Oh, that's typical, isn't it, Bernard? Only a film? What if all the world thought that? Hey, are you going to finish that, Michelangelo? No, it's only a ceiling. Why should I do that? Oh, yes. I don't even know the end of the film now. What am I going to do? Well, ask our Doreen. She recorded it, she'll know. Don't sit there, come on, phone her, phone her. I'll ask her when I see her. Not Bernard, phone her, please. No, 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 I can't do, I can't, just remember, I can't do that. Yes, you can, it's not too late. No, I can't. 
She's gone away, hasn't she, with Ken and the kids, camping. She won't be back for three weeks. Great. Of all the stupid things to do, recording over the end of a film. Well, I hope she has a very good camping holiday, I'll tell you that. I hope a chemical toilet explodes. <laughs> well, she's still on it. Them kids on that wall again, are they? Yeah. What the hell are they doing on that wall? They've no right on that wall. It's not their wall, they're going to break it. That's it, I'm going to crack them now. <laughs> now who's whinging? <laughs> If you can't use the proper calling sign, don't use the radio at all. You let Bravo to Arthur. <laughs> I'm warning you. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice. I'm not this important. Well, it'll have to wait. All right, I'm coming. Oh, very good. It'll have to wait. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I wish you were. All right, all right. I forgot my key, Bernard. <laughs> Why didn't you knock? I did, you were asleep. I was not. You was, I heard you snoring. I do not snore. Come on, Bernard, admit it, you were asleep. I was just resting my eyes. It was more like an uh, elongated blink. Elongated blink? Yeah. I was stood outside, I heard you driving them home. <laughs> this woke me up, though, didn't it? I saw them kids again. Oh, were they on the walk? No, no, no. But I think they're up to something. What gives you that impression? Oh, you can tell the way they were standing. You can tell a lot from body language. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the general demeanour seemed very, very hostile. A lot of tension in the shoulders. But not only that, they were banging a sledgehammer into New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, though. He's, he's very well protected round there. Mm. It'd be easy to get into your wallet. <laughs> anyway, when, um, when they saw me coming, Bernard, they scarpered. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They do that when they see me coming, too. They know I don't give an inch. I heard your Beryl said that. <laughs> no, what, she, what she said, what she said was she was uncompromising. Did she really say that? Well, not in them as many words as that. What she said, you, you were a lazy toad. <laughs> Boy, I wish I knew the end of that film. <laughs> well, you don't. And you won't know till our Dorian comes back off holiday. So forget about it. There's a crack in that ceiling. It's all the way from there. Right over to there. We'll have to get plasters in. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> it's doing me head in this. I'm bored. I'm bored, Bernard. I'm bored. Intelligent people don't get bored. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what it means. Intelligent people don't get bored. They find something to occupy their mind. I mean, if Melvin Bragg was sat there where you are, he wouldn't be looking at the crack in the ceiling, would he? He'd be thinking about Rembrandt or one of them other composers he had on his show. <laughs> Rembrandt wasn't a composer. <laughs> well, whatever she does. He'd be thinking about it. <coughs> I bet he were a spy. Who, oh, Rembrandt? No, the fellow in the film. <laughs> Will you stop going on about the film? I'm sick of it now. <laughs> Do you mind? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Bernard. That's mine. Sorry, sorry. You've got some very unpleasant habits. Here. You might as well finish it. <laughs> Oh, that's gone right at bottom. Do you have to? What? That's common. 
There's nothing common in Duncan. The aristocracy do the first year of Duncan. There's nothing common in it. Tis the way you do it. How do you dunk a biscuit, Bosch? There are ways to do it that aren't common. What do you call common? You for a start. Well, you're common as well. Eat your chips out of paper. You do. That's common. That's not common. Well, what is it then? That's popular. <laughs> what you're doing is downright disgusting. This, I might tell you, Bernard, is an adventure. Right? A small moment of excitement to cheer my lonely life. There is skill and judgment involved in this. The immersion period is very crucial. It's got to be in there just long enough. And when it comes out, the race is on. Will you get it to your mouth in time? Or will it sag and droop and fall in your life? <laughs> if you get it to your mouth in time, you can savour the delights of a perfectly dunked biscuit. If you fail, you've got to scrape it off your trousers with a spoon. <laughs> That's not common, don't pay it in. That's horrid. We give up, did we give up? I spy, <laughs> with my little eyes, something beginning with D. Door, my hang turn. On, hang on, hang on. I didn't say it were door. You always start with door. Yeah, but I could have been, it could have been what? The driving license. The driving license? Your driving license is in your wallet, and your wallet is in your back pocket. I can't see your driving license. I could have been cheated. <laughs> Were you? No. Right, door. My turn. I spy. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Why not? Because I can't get yours. <laughs> I haven't even given you the first letter yet. Yeah, but you always win, Bernard. Purvis, that is because you always start with door. <laughs> now concentrate. No, I can't concentrate. I can't. I have too much on my mind, like the end of that film. Not again. I can't help it. I'm a natural, curious person. I need to know how it finishes. Right. See that line? I've read it 20 times. That does it. Where are you going? Down to the video shop. Brilliant, Sergeant. Brilliant. Come on, come on. <laughs> have you found it yet? What was it called again? Man who was tomorrow. Mm -hmm. J-K-L-M. Man who was tomorrow, man who was... Ma Here we are. Man who was tomorrow. Great, great. Satisfied? Yeah, lend me two quid, I'll go and pay. I haven't got two quid. You have? I haven't. I give you my last fiver for that washing up liquid, remember? You've got it. I haven't, I put it in my jacket. We'll go and get it. Could you hurry up, please? We're closing. The closing? Is it all right if we come back in five minutes to pay you? Of course you can. See, you've only got to ask. But I won't be here. <laughs> She's shutting up. What am I going to do now? Well, you live life to the full. You're in your prime. <laughs> Give her the charm. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Who is? You. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, aren't I the lucky girl? I've got a motorbike. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, you're impressed, I can tell. Have I? Yeah. I've got big black gloves and goggles as well. Have you? Do you fancy a spin? Listen, Barashim. What? I'm not interested in motorbikes. I like intelligent conversation. I like to be wined and dined. Preferably by a six-foot, dark-haired, sophisticated man who cares as much about my mind as my other bits. <laughs> I like to be slowly brought to fever pitch, mentally and physically. <laughs> I don't want some dwarf in black leather gauntlet speeding through my erogenous zones. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> Friend, you've seen that girl from up the shoe shop. You're not, are you? You liar! It's true. I saw them together on Saturday. Wasn't me. It wasn't me, Bernard. What? You and Naomi from the shoe shop? No, no. It must be that fella that looks like me. Somebody who looks like you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, poor sod. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, it was me then. You and Naomi? Yeah. 
Hey, she's got black teeth. Not all of them. <laughs> when she smiles, she looks like she's got a mouthful of dominoes. Yeah, well, I didn't. I asked her to go out. Excuses, with me. excuses. No, I asked her to go out with me because she said she could get me some new trainers, discount. Mm. Last of the romantics you are. I'm desperate. Oh, you must be going out with Naomi. No, no, I'm desperate for some new shoes. You see, it with a cat, it ruined his others. Yeah, it ruined the others. Well, how did you do that? It peed in them. <laughs> well, it's no good trying to get round me for new shoes. No, I don't want to get round you for new shoes, but you can help me in different directions. You see, I want to borrow a video. Oh, you want one of the fruity ones? <laughs> no, I don't. Actually, what I want is, it's this one, to be honest, but I don't have any money on me at the appropriate moment. <laughs> well, no money, no video. Come on, I want to see the end. But you can. You can come back when you've got two pounds. Please let me borrow the video. Please, I'm begging you. Please. <laughs> this video stays here. It does not leave the shop on any account until the rental price is paid. Bernard. <laughs> well, I can't understand it. I can't understand it at all. I mean, I'm suave, sophisticated. I give her all my best lines. Nothing, Bernard, nothing. Well, that's the way it goes. You've either got it or you haven't. You didn't get the video, you didn't get the girl. That says it all. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Listen, on the outside, I might be a well-thumbed paperback, but on inside, I'm pure Hemingway. <laughs> More like pure gateway. <laughs> look, I've got something to cheer you up. Look at this, look. The man who was tomorrow. The film, how did you get this? Well, you've either got it or you haven't. <laughs> well, you're going to have to show me how to get it, Bernard. <laughs> you don't need it, Purvis. I've got it. <laughs> you need anything, come to see me. What's the end of your film? Thanks, Bernard. I'm in the mood for love Simply because you're near me So, you've got it and I haven't, right? Right. Wrong. Empty, except for this. Video rental, two pound. Come back when you've got the money. You haven't got it, I haven't got it, she's got it. Don't say another word. If you want me, I'll be watching Emmerdale Farm. By the way, that spotty kid's on the wall again.